All right, here's our digital readout for the mill. I'm gonna start that up, it has to boot up. So once that's done, we'll get rolling. All right, it always starts in metric. So we'll just go ahead and hit the Imperial button for inch there. And right now we have it all zeroed out because we have the uh, bit zeroed on our part. I'm just gonna use a center drill for this demonstration. Now if we wanna do if we want to lay out a bolt circle pattern, there's this little button right here. You can see it's a circle with holes around it. That's what we want. It's going to ask us for our center. We're already zeroed where we want to be. You could change these values if you wanted. Say you had multiple uh, bolt circles that you needed to drill. Say you had one here and you want one over here. You could then enter the coordinates in for that second one. Since we're just doing one, we'll leave it zeroed there. Go down. The diameter of the circle that we're going to put the bolt holes on is 0.75, three quarters of an inch. So that's good. Number of holes, we're going to do six. The starting angle is zero. Now where that comes into play is if you up here. So if you do zero, you're going to end up with a bolt hole pattern like this. You're going to have one directly at the top at your zero degree um, setting. If you want it to be like this, you would want to do 30 because these are 60 degrees apart. Your center is here, so it would be 30 degrees to this hole. So if you're doing something round, it doesn't matter. You can do either. If you're working on, uh, say, a flange or something, um, it might might matter one way or another. But for this, we're just gonna go with zero so we get a bolt hole pattern like that. And the ending angle, 360 degrees, so we're going all the way around. And hole one, it tells us we need to move X um, to zero this out. So we need to move 0.375 or 3 eighths of an inch um, in order to get to our zero position. So, We'll go ahead and do that. And once we're zeroed out, that is going to be where that hole needs to be drilled. So that's exactly where that hole would need to be drilled. So we'll go ahead and drill that hole. If I can get my hand out of here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to drill that first hole. up or we could countersink them with that center drill. So now for hole number two, we're simply going to come up here and I didn't lock it down because it's for this demonstration I want to spend the time but um, we're two ten thousandths off, no big deal. So to go to hole two we're going to hit the down button, hole two, and now we just have to zero out these coordinates here for your X, so we'll get zeroed out. And then for our Y, and now we'll go ahead and drill hole two. If you notice, I have a, just a spin indexer there. I have a little job to do, so I didn't feel like pulling it off for this demonstration. So that's kind of in the way there, but not a big deal either. So go ahead and drill hole two. Now hole two is drilled. So now we're just going to keep progressing along. We'll do one more on here. Go to hole three. 
And now you can see we just need to move the X. And then we'll drill hole three and we'll continue and I'll come back on hole six. Now we're on hole six, so we'll go ahead and drill that real quick. I'll go ahead and pull that off and give you a look at it. So that's the final product. Our six holes laid out on a three quarter inch diameter bolt hole pattern. Um, pretty simple to do. If you have a digital readout, I would definitely suggest learning how to use it. Uh, much easier than doing all the trig by hand. If you have a chart like I showed you in the first part of the video, that definitely makes it easier. Uh, but this is, like I said, the simple way to do it with the digital readout. And it's a nice accurate way to do it um, without putting a lot of thought into it. All you have to do is know your diameter, your starting point, and how many holes, and